Welcome back to West Ham Unofficial. I hope you are all well. We've got an interview for you today. We are joined uh, by, yet again, um, a Czech Republic, living in the Czech Republic, West Ham fan. Brilliant, brilliant. We we are joined today uh, by Yarda. Yarda, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Jake. How about you? Yeah, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Thank you very much uh, for coming on again. Thanks for another invitation to your show. I hope people will enjoy it. Hopefully. Uh, so before we get into that and before we get into Alex Crow, the West Ham transfer window, and of course, because uh, Yarda is a is an expert on the um on the check on the check side of things because they seem to all be coming to West Ham. But uh, but, uh, but before you do like the video, share the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you are new around here. We'll start off uh with the transfer window on the whole. So we saw goalkeeper Ariola, right, let, let me get this right, Zuma, the centre back, Vlasic, uh, and of course the Czech man Alex Crow. We'll talk about Crow in a second, but uh what's your thoughts on the transfer window on a whole? Yeah, okay, so I will talk, let's say, one by one, okay? So yeah. let's start with goalkeeper Ariola. Uh, I think, yeah, I like him. He he has some experience from French League, Spanish League, as I, as I could see. Yeah. Uh, even though they've been relegated uh, last year with Fulham, I, I don't think it was, let's say, his fault because... Uh, I think the problem was their scoring, not yeah. their defense. So yeah, uh, even when, if I can remember, the last time we played against them, it was 0-0 draw, I think. So It was, yeah. Suchek I, was sent off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suchek was sent off in the end of the match, I think. Yeah, so even, even there, I really liked him because he was like a goal against us. Yeah. So yeah, this one is really good. Let's say backup for Lukas Fabianski, and maybe in the future he will become our number one I agree. Goal, goalkeeper. So I really like this one transfer. Uh, another one, Zoma from Chelsea. Yeah, 26 years old, uh, center back. I think that he is his great option for us. So yeah. Uh, yeah. He has also a lot of experience from Premier League. Premier League experience, that's the key with it, isn't it? Because, you know, we were looking at other players like Milenkovic, but I like the fact we signed Zuma. I thought I thought he proved himself at Chelsea, uh, and I'm excited about this signing. I think most West Ham fans are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really excited to see him play. Yeah, yeah. So we I were can't talking wait. about Crow. Well, we will talk about Crow in a minute. Uh, the final signing we made, attacking midfielder, maybe instead of Lingard, we signed uh, Nikola Vlasic. Nikola Vlasic, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know much about him, uh, but I know he yesterday, I think, scored against Slovenia yes, in the World yeah. Cup qualification. So let's let's see. I, I, he, looks, he looks promising. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, I think... No, no, not many West Ham fans watch the Russian league, so probably don't know a lot about him. You don't know a lot about him, I don't. So it's just going to be uh, good to see him. Right then, let's talk about uh, let's let's talk about our central midfielder that we've bought in. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it on social media the way West Ham announced it, the way all all three of them, Suchek, Sufal, and Crow, were all together. They welcomed him to West Ham, and it was brilliant. On a whole, uh, what? What do you think of the signing? Uh, okay, Alex Kral. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited because it's you know another checkmate in <laughs> my favorite club in England. So, yeah. Uh, about him, um, we will, we will see how, how he will do in Premier League, because to be honest, uh, I wasn't really. Uh, I wasn't really happy with his performances at the Euros. Yeah. But yeah, he he's a good player. We will I, I guess we will talk about him later on. Uh, one last thing I wanted to say about our transfer window is that uh, I really miss uh, some striker, you know, we really need striker and maybe a second left back as a backup for Aaron Cresswell. 
Yeah. So it's a little bit disapp disappointing. So yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah but... let's hope Michael Antonio and Aaron Cresswell won't get injured or we are in trouble. Well, yeah, I know, I know. It's it's difficult, but I think maybe you've got Vlasic there, you've got Bowen, you've got these players that could perhaps transform into a striker this season because I mean we've got Yarmolenko as a striker and that's it, and he's just he's just not good enough. But yeah, with with Alex Crow, how um how valuable is he to the Czech squad, do you think, you know, in the Euros World Cup coming up? Um how good is he and how valuable is he, do you think, uh uh to the Czech squad? For the Czech national team, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he he is one of the players that has some experience from uh, other leagues, you know, non-Czech leagues. Yeah. So yeah, of course, it's, it's not too much. So check, he, he is our superstar right now, let's say. But yeah, Alex Kral is really important. I, I hope he will get some chances at West Ham too, to play some minutes. And maybe he will he will get even better. But yeah, he is important for us, but definitely one of yeah. the key players in the midfield. Yeah, brilliant. Do you think a lot of a lot of people have uh, have said perhaps that Declan Rice might move away from West Ham next summer to a big a big club? Um, do you think you know this is this is a wise move from our manager David Moyes by bringing in Suchek's partner with the Czech national team, Alex Crow, almost looking ahead and being realistic? Uh, could do you think Alex Crow step up into Declan Rice's shoes and be Declan Rice's replacement in the years to come? Yeah, the first thing I want to say that nobody wants the clan rice to leave. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's hope let's hope that won't happen. But if if this happens, I think yeah, Moyes is thinking uh, about the future, and Alex Kral and Tomas Socek can be good partnership in the midfield. But still, mm -hmm. I think the clan rice is irreplaceable. He. He is. Yeah. I really like the partnership between him and Tomasz Sochek right now, because he allows Tomasz Sochek to play more aggressively in yeah. in the offense. So let's see how Tom, how uh, Alex Kral can replace the Klan Rice possibly, because I think he's different kind of player. He mm -hmm. is more let's say quick he has good dribbling he has good work rate and pace but Declan Rice for me is one of the best defensive midfielders I've seen oh, because yeah. Yeah, he's like a wall in the midfield Definitely. I think Suchek and Rice have just got, as you mentioned there, just a fantastic partnership. And yeah. obviously all of you people over um, in the Czech Republic must think, you know, oh, look, oh, look Suchek, there he is. He, he scored again um, or whatever. He's he's doing he's doing he's doing really, really well uh, for West Ham. So it's good to see. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't believe we signed another Czech player. Can you? What's the whole feeling in the Czech no, Republic? No. All of our players, they're going to West Ham. <laughs> It's it's unbelievable, mate. I think I I can remember, but I don't think we ever had uh, three Czech players in the same club. I mean, from top five leagues, you know. So yeah. it may be never it may be never happened. So yeah, I, I think everyone in Czech Republic is excited about that. Even even non West Ham fans, everyone wants to see how our boys will do together in the one club so yeah we will it's, see i'm really excited it's good it's good because the feeling you know west ham fans have a bit of a joke over over our czech ham fc czech republic west ham fc uh, that, <laughs> that's what we're hearing do you think the czech republic people are uh, are liking the fact that we are uh, perhaps bringing bringing the two countries together in definitely, terms of definitely even even in czech social social media like facebook instagram i can i can see the comments every day the yeah. same kind of comments yeah check him <laughs> <laughs> yeah and and you know it's it's like it's like the west ham um 
the West Ham uh, social media put out when the Czech Republic played uh, the other night. They put our three checkmates in bold three now, not the two. Um, in terms of what, um, in terms of the player, um, three players we've now got, even the two, Suchek and Sufal. I mean, I mean, we discussed it last time. Um, they're just so valuable to us, and uh, us over here in England are uh, are absolutely loving them. And uh, you know, it's it, it must be good to see um, Czech players from the from the from the from the national team come up and rise through the Czech um, <laughs> leagues and that, and then go to you know a big a big league like the Premier League and show what they're made of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think uh, this can even open the door for another Czech players from the Czech league to get a chance, uh, for example, in England. Because yeah, look at Alex Kral, next next one. But I think. Tomáš Souček and Vladimir Soufal, they, the Premier League is like the league made for them exactly. They are hard mm. workers, so people there love it. I love it. You can you you cannot like Tomáš Souček and Vladimir Soufal. Oh, this is brilliant. Yeah. They are they are proper West Ham players that the West Ham fans and, like. And I I do think the Premier League suits them the best. Yeah. Uh, they're they're hard working. They never give up. They put their foot in. They are yes. they are fantastic. One thing I didn't write down, but I've just thought of is uh, there's a lot of speculation in West Ham West Ham about how you pronounce Vladimir Sufo and Thomas Suchek's names. Can you confirm how you pronounce their names? Because there's a lot of debate going on. How do you Absolutely. pronounce them? <laughs> Absolutely. You pronounce their names? I, I I was when I was watching uh, Premier League matches with. English casters, I yeah. couldn't. It was terrible. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's Vladimir Tsoufal and yeah. Tomáš Souček. There we go. See, you heard it. You heard it here on West Ham on a <laughs> from from somebody in the Czech Republic. Yeah, at the start we were calling him Kufal, and then lots of people said, no, 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 no. Kufal was terrible. <laughs> Kufal was really terrible. <laughs> And uh, oh. even when Sochek came to England, they were pronouncing him like Suchek. But yeah. it's so. It's like so, two, yeah. two of your words, like so and check. Yeah. So check. Easy. <laughs> yeah. We did for about six months. All, all of the West Ham fans did pronounce their names wrong. And I'm sure that annoyed people <laughs> in the Czech Republic <laughs> and them and the players themselves. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. But. But uh, I, I must confirm that Czech language is one of the hardest in the world. So it's OK yeah. to to do some mistakes in the pronunciation. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that is the interview. Uh, Yada, I'd like to say a huge thank you for you for coming on uh, once again. And anything you'd like to add before we go? Mm, I would like to say that I'm glad I could be here once again. And and come on, you irons! I... There we go. Come on, you irons! Thank you very much for all of you watching, and from me uh, and Yada, as we said, come on, you irons! Um, before we go, before we go, score prediction: What's the score going to be against Southampton on Saturday? Are we going to win? Definitely, we will yes. win. I would see three-one West Ham. Love it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you, Yada, for coming on. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.